I bought a small comic book collection, and we are going to talk about it. All right, guys, I purchased a comic book collection. We're going to talk about it. This is a cool one because I always like talking to the sellers on camera, and some of you guys may know who this person is. Before we get into it, I want to remind everyone, maybe you guys don't know, down below there is a discount code to GeminiComicSupply.com. It's very Gary 10. You get 10% off your Gemini mailers. So if you buy and sell a lot of comic books, you obviously ship them. Uh, check out this discount code because it gets you 10% off, which is nice. It adds up when you're buying a lot of these things. Um, and they do more than just mailers. Uh, they do board, um, they have boxes, they have bags, boards, short boxes, long boxes, a whole bunch of stuff, but they're, they're well known for their Gemini mailers, hence the name. So Gemini Comic Supply, Very Gary 10, gets you 10% off. There's a lot of discount codes down there, Mutant Beaver Comics, cover price, all different things. Uh, but this is the one I wanted to highlight. So in the description down below, there's a whole bunch of discount codes. Okay, um, this collection, this collection was purchased uh, from a friend. You guys may know him, Mike the Beast Benson. You see him in uh, live auctions on eBay and whatnot. You see him on Instagram. He, I believe he has his own YouTube channel still. He's always, he's up in the Northeast. He's at Terrificon. He, I believe he goes up to... Oh, he goes to King Con, he goes to Terrificon, the Three Men in the Basement comic swap, which is coming this month. He'll be there selling. Uh, he's still collecting. He just wanted to eliminate a small portion of his collection. He gave me a call and we made it happen. Um, in this video, you're going to see a, I think we go through one long box. Not a crazy elaborate video here, guys. I'm going to be honest with you, but I always do like, again, like I said before, I always like talking to the sellers when they're willing to get on camera, and Mike's totally fine on camera. He actually held the camera because we go through one single box. There's not going to be a whole lot to talk about at the end. I will talk price, and there's going to be some books you're not going to see that I'm going to tell you that was in there because I forgot to record them, and I already sold them, so they're gone, but trust me. I'll tell you, I got one over here. I think I have one over here I'll show you. Uh, again, nothing earth shattering, but still, these I, I, I record, I try to record 99% of the time, any collection that comes my way that is purchased or even not purchased that I look through, I make a video on. Sometimes one slips through the cracks because I'm just so busy and I just leave it somewhere and I forget about it. It happens. 99% of the time, I show you everything. So I'm showing you this one. It was very, again, very modest collection. And even Michael say, look, this was me getting rid of some stuff in the house, making room uh, for a few things I didn't care so much about. So let's uh, let's take a look. You can see exactly what one box looks like, and then we'll talk about some more. All right, we are heading down to meet someone for a collection. It's actually a friend. Look what's going on across the street. Unbelievable, huh? Welcome to Connecticut, everyone. Uh, we are going over to meet a friend to check out a comic book collection. I don't remember what he said was in here. What I do remember is I think he said something about X-Men. So we'll take a look, and maybe it'll be a familiar face for some of you guys. All right, so here we go. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shorts. And a bag of slabs. And a, slabs. and a bag of slabs. And here he is. Oh, Mike the Beast Benson moving a portion. All right, tell me really quick. What do we got in here, and why are you selling? So we have a little bit of everything. We have some Marvel stuff from silver all the way to modern. We have some DC. We have some silver all the way to modern with a little, a little golden age in there. Oh. Uh, we have some independent stuff. Why I'm going through all this, you know, just trying to downsize, consolidate, and focus on, you know, what I really like to collect. If you guys right. don't know, I'm Superman, Batman, FF, or a little bit of Spidey. But so you're not leaving the hobby. That's most important. Absolutely. I've not. run into quite a few collections recently where people streamlining and not leaving the hobby and just kind of doing exactly what you're doing. So you're you're. It, this seems to be a trend right now. So which is good. So all right, grab. Let's grab one box real quick, and I'll uh, we'll just flip through super fast, and we'll save the rest for home. This is this is the magic one. Indie box, okay? Indie box is fine. Some keys up front, I put, and then. All right, let's see. Oh, Thundercats one, yay! Some Alien Predator stuff. So we'll go through this box really quick on camera, and then I'll dig through the rest. Actually, you know what? Can you record? Absolutely. Look at that. Is this a first print? It is. It is a first print. Uh, my bad. I'm not sure. 
Okay, we're not sure. Let's check. <laughs> this, I believe this went through three printings. Uh, let's just take these over here. You don't want to snag the tape. This looks bright to be a first print, which is which is oh, it is a first print. Yes. Let's good. go. <laughs> All right, there you go. Winner for the beast. <laughs> you want to plug anything while we're doing this? Um, yeah. If you guys haven't found my YouTube channel, uh, Mike B. Spenson yeah. on YouTube. Um, yeah, I kind of just entered a new. Uh, after being dormant for a couple years, I'm doing a new kind of live thing with uh, Chin Mo and my buddy Chris. We've been doing our top tens in various categories, and we um, have some pre-recorded stuff in the works. So yeah, stay tuned. I'm trying to get stuff out at least once a week. And um, yeah, looking forward to it. You know, there'll be con some content from the Swap, King Con, and uh, Triff Con. So, so there you go. All stuff that I talk about tr a lot <laughs> on my channel. So there you go. Oh, we got angry people. Why not? There you go. <laughs> Did you like the crow trailer? I did. I just wish he looked better. Which I, I can respect. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't know. Well, you're all over the place here. Department of Truth, Geiger. Did you read that? I have the trade. I haven't read it yet. Love the artwork Jason on the covers. Fa Fabic, and, uh, Fabic and Jeff Johns. Can't beat those two. Yeah. House of Slaughter. Every collection these days. <laughs> Every I bad saying collection. That. House of Slaughter and Ice Cream Man and some you have, let me guess something in killing the children in here or what? Mm, yes. Yep. See. Okay. So we're gonna continue to go through this one and then I'll we'll we'll stop recording and I'll just try to blow through <laughs> what else we have here. So an indie box. Of course you pick the indie box, but we'll save all the really good stuff for home. Gotta keep them coming back. That's it. Yeah. There it is. Something's killing the children. See, and never always. Oh, six, do you have my issue 16 in there? That one I kept. That's oh, the look at that one. Oh, Davis is calling. Oh, sorry. Davis is calling me right now. Yeah, you know why Davis is calling me? He wants because we have defective collective tonight, and I have to give him my login info. Erod just texted me too for the login. <laughs> Boy, do you like Angela or what? I was big on that when that was a hot rumor. All right, that's it. Let's uh, we'll talk to the re figure out the rest at home. All right, so I just looked for the one book that I still had, Slab, because there was a small handful of Slab. Oh, it might be right there. Hold on. Hang on. Don't go anywhere. This might be it. Stay right there. No, nope, it's not. I don't know where the hell this thing went. I don't know. It's gone. I know I didn't sell it, but it's missing. Okay, I'm back. Hey. Uh, all right. No editing. Let's just go through it. Okay, so you guys saw that one box. You saw Mike. So he may look familiar to a lot of you guys who go to these cons. Um, so the best book that came out of this collection, I don't have it because I sold it, was actually a CGC 9.8. It was a Tyler Kirkham variant signed by Kirkham. I believe it was a Venom number, was a Venom number three? It was like an homage to Green Lantern 50? No, it was an homage to Infinity Gauntlet with the ring from Green Lantern. He did one, Infinity Gauntlet with the glove, and then Kirkham, I believe it was Null with the tendrils going all over the place. I don't know. Anyway, that was the best book in this collection. Also, a first Black Manta in like a 2.5, first Robin King variant in a 9.6. We're not talking about, you know, cool. The, the Black Manta was a great book. Unfortunately, it was a 2.5. Uh, not very expensive. That was sold um, the best raw book that came out of this collection was a Venom number three, which is the first null, which is still, I don't know, maybe $75 book at this point in near mint. And I didn't look super duper close to it. Zach, that's over there. That I know. I wonder if the slab is over there too. I'm not, I'm not good at this YouTube stuff. If you haven't noticed. All right. So next step, what did I pay for this collection? I'm going to give you guys five seconds to guess. What did I pay? You, you saw one box. And I believe there was, was there four, six bo short boxes and long? Wasn't a lot of stuff. Uh, but I'm going to let you know, what did I pay? Give you the five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. I paid $400 for this collection. How did I come to the conclusion of 400 bucks? I think it was probably worth about 750 to 800 tops if everything was sold. So I sold a bunch of stuff. I didn't even get my 400 bucks back yet. We got the null over there. Probably not sending it out to be graded. He's a friend, so, and it was like, you know, not the best stuff, far from the worst stuff. I think you guys have seen worse collections on here. But again, somebody just trimming the fat off their collection, which is funny because the last few collections I've purchased 
have been basically people trimming the fat off their collections where there's still some good books here or there, but ultimately they're keeping the best of the best or they're streamlining their collection. Where What I mean by streamlining is something that I do constantly is like I've done it multiple times where I've sold everything except the stuff I'm really focused on. For instance, Batman keys, okay? Thor keys and Journey into Mystery Run. Behind me, you see Ninja Turtle keys, He-Man, that's it. Very streamlined collecting where everything else goes. Uh, and that's exactly what happened here with Mike. He cut a piece of his collection out, put a couple bucks in his pocket, made some room in his house, and now he can focus more on what he wants to collect. And he may do this again, he said. He may cut another piece of his collection out, get rid of it, put some money in his pocket, and really focus and streamline on the stuff he wants. He wants. He's a big DC guy. He likes Golden Age stuff, uh, Golden Age Superman and Batman. So that's what he's going to focus on, amongst other things. And that's it for this collection, guys. I know it's a wacky one. I'm sorry I didn't have anything to show you here, but I picked this book. I picked this collection up like over a month ago, and it's just been went through it and it's just dissipated. Some of it's been sold and some of it, this room is disgusting. There's just stuff everywhere. There's books everywhere. So, you know, some of it was sold. Some of it was put into other co pieces and other boxes. So that's what we ended up with. So thank you guys for sticking with me for this one. This was a tough one to get through because again, I don't have anything really to show you. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, keep it comics.